Two days from now, on May 12th, yeah. 1989, I found out that I was HIV positive. Wow. And I was told I wouldn't live to see 30. You know, many of us weren't expected to survive to this point, so we didn't think there would be anything about intergenerational. For so many queer and trans people, I think we're told we do not have legacy and we do not have future. I had to live so much of my life as an individual person struggling to survive. Having intergenerational community has given me family. My peers, they still say these things. Young people need to know what we went through, know what we fought for, and they need to respect us. And I don't like, why do they need to do that? You sound like their parents, <laughs> you know? You've always been so curious and just open to embracing things as possibility. How are you like this? Well, you know, I had a partner. Mm -hmm. And in some ways, I still think he is my partner, even though he passed. And I used to start everything with, in my experience, mm. and one day, Jesse just goes to me, Vince, there is so much more to age than your pathetic experience. So can you just quit saying that? And I just looked at him, I was kind of shocked. I was like, oh, is this where we break up? Whoa. And he's like, you know, you need to think in terms of possibility. Hmm. Think about what you can do in the time that's been allotted to you, as opposed to what you can't do, and focus on that. One of the only things that has kept me working at the intersection of queer and trans and Asian American Pacific Islander, even despite things feeling everlastingly difficult, is actually having these connections. Because it's through these connections that I can talk with people and be like, yeah, you've been doing this work for 30 years and there's been like plenty of hard things, but also so many stories of joy. And maybe this is the message, is that as we meet with younger people, we heal because we know that those efforts weren't for nothing. Mm. I think part of intergenerational solidarity is making the space for people to release the, the pain and the hurt so that we can actually reach that vision of where we want to go together. I don't just see the things that I'm doing as one-year goals or five-year goals. I have to frame my work with urgency, but also with patience, understanding that impact continues to show up well after the program, the campaign, the rally has ended.